Hello everyone, this is Bradley. Today this is a short fundamental tutorial talking about this menu switch node in Blender geometry nodes. Many people are having issues of it, so at the first I'm going to briefly explain the use of it and then describe the issue, give you the solution of your issue, and try to explain that from a user point of view. So here this is a default menu switch node uh, where we are having a menu of A and B, and you can select either A or B geometry to output. So here we can have a UV sphere and the cube uh, being selected or input, and uh, you can change its name. So you can either change its name uh, by going to the M panel, you can change it here, or you can hold the control to click this socket and the name that as a UV sphere and the cube separately. And if you connect this output to the group output, you can decide your either output the UV sphere or cube based on this uh, menu switch. And of course, you can add items more and more uh, based on your needs. Or you can try to just uh, connect the cube geometry or whatever to the list and then you can just select that. So this is the basic use of it. This kind of function can be very useful when you're trying to make group nodes assets with different modes. Taking Blender's own node as an example, uh, there's a distribute point on faces where you're having a random mode and also Poisson disk mode to have different kinds of distribution. Uh, taking node group assets as an example, uh, I personally have a spherical geometry nodes uh, to output a sphere with different types of topology. For example, I have a cubic sphere, I have a UV sphere, I have an icosahedral sphere, and I have a dual mesh sphere, which is made of all this kind of hexagons and uh, uh, pentagons. So this kind of function can be very useful when using that. But there is an issue which often confuses people. Right now, if I feed back this menu into the group inputs, then it will create a menu socket, and I can access this menu from the modifier panel. I can choose either UV sphere or cubic mesh to output. So this is working fine. However, if I uh, control shift D to duplicate this node, then immediately you will see this menu linkage becomes red and there will be a warning saying this invalid link. And this menu you will find it's no longer working. I cannot choose between this UV sphere and the mesh to output. And uh, seemingly, uh, these are two identical menus. They are both having the same inputs even, but no matter which one you choose, it just does not really work because of this invalid link. If you choose either of them, then it will start to work. And if you choose the other one, it will also work. But if you choose both of them, they will not work. So why is there an issue and how to solve it? Here, let me firstly introduce you the solution. The most common practice to solve this issue will be using the index switch which does not support a menu, but we can combine these two methods together by outputting an integer index. So the computer counts index from zero, so the UV sphere will be zero, mesh will be one. You can also add other items, but just to remember, hopefully you can follow the index counts like zero, one, two, three, four, five, and so on and so forth. And here we can use this UV sphere. We can have this cube and we are outputting this index switch. We can control this output as either UV sphere or cube. And you can duplicate that without any invalid link. You can also change the data type. For example, I want my UV sphere to be white, uh, my cube to be red, and you can output this attribute to visualize your results based on your uh, menu switch. So this is working fine. If you only care about the solution of this issue, you can 
leave this tutorial since it's working. But if you wonder about this system, why we cannot duplicate this menu switch, I will try to explain with my limited understanding from developer's message. Just to mention that my understanding can be totally wrong, so you can just treat that as a story. But uh, the solution I'm sharing with you are 100% correct and it's working. So uh, enjoy this story. The concept of current menu switch system is that each menu switch node contains its own unique ID. And this information is going backwards to the group inputs so that we can access this menu. This means if you cut out this menu linkage, then this menu will not store any information from our previous menu switch. And it can be rewritten with the other menu switch to have completely new menus to choose. So even if you duplicate a menu switch and they look 100% identical, they are not because one node is menu switch and the other node is called menu switch 001. And there will be a conflict because the menu does not know which of menu switch should it follow. Is that menu switch or is that menu switch 001? With this concept in mind, there will be a different solution or phenomenon that occur with our menu switch node. Here, for convenience, I'm going to name this menu switch node as Peter. So from now on, this menu switch will be called Peter. We can also change its label to better describe it. And uh, in Blender, there cannot be any name collision. So even if you name it as Peter, it will ultimately be Peter001. And the solution or phenomena occurs with this menu switch node is that if you put that into a node group, so now this is the a node group, and uh, let's go back to our original node tree. If we look at this menu in this node group, then this menu will know itself as Peter. Our outer group inputs will not have any identity at this stage without any linkage. And if you pass this information back, it will recover this information. And in this case, since our node group menu already know itself being called Peter, there will be no conflict such as Peter and the Peter 001. So now you can duplicate this menu without any issue. And in fact, you do not even need to have the same values uh, in these switches. So you can change that into anything else without any kind of conflict. And you do not need to expose this kind of input as well. You can just delete them or keep them as you wish. So this is a different way that can allow you to duplicate this kind of menu switch. On the other hand, as soon as you make this node group into an individual copy, such as node group 001, then this invalid link issue will come back. This method, while it's solving the kind of problem of duplication, it's definitely not as good as our index switch method where you can change all this kind of data type. It also explains why this kind of evaluates at index 
cannot expose their enum sockets, or even if you expose their enum sockets, it will not benefit users because you cannot duplicate this kind of node. So right now this is evaluated at index, but as soon as you duplicate that, it will be evaluated at index 001. You are going to have this kind of red ink linkage conflict. So the idea in the future is probably to put this evaluate index into a node group so that you can just duplicate this menu without any kind of problem. This is just a, an idea. According to what I've heard from developers in the past, if I understand their words correctly, an alternative approach to the current menu switch system is to make an individual data block system inside the Blender file, just like all this kind of scene, these meshes, and so on and so forth. Right now, this kind of data block is existing inside each menu switch node. So we are having conflict between Peter and Peter001. However, if it becomes a individual data block living outside of this node, then it can pass the information to this menu switch node and pass the same information to the other menu switch node, then you are not going to have any issue. So they will both know they are called Peter by referencing information from somewhere else. I'm afraid that this approach will be very difficult to implement, so it was not tried at the first place, and resulting in our current simplified solution with this kind of confusion. At the end, this system is currently working well, despite some issues. It's very difficult to say how the future will go with this system, but at least this is how it works. So I hope you enjoy this video. I'll probably see you next time. Bye-bye.